Hi, this is Mai, the Cosmic Nomad, and welcome to the Acetone channel. Hey weirdos, today I'm gonna talk about the Nikon F4S. It's one of my favorite cameras that I've ever owned. It's pretty over the top. It's a beast, it's a brick. You can see, look at the size of this thing to my head. Look at that. I bought this camera a couple years back. 2012 around there from KEH. I'll leave the link in the description below. I bought this camera because I wanted to upgrade from the Nikon FE. So you can see the difference between the two, the Nikon FE and the F4S. The F4S is a beast. It has autofocus, it has exposure compensation, it has manual aperture priority, shutter priority, it has program mode, it has pH, which I never really checked and what it was. It has five frames per second. You can check it out right now. Listen to this. Crazy. Loud, but worth it. And the lens that I use the most on this camera is the Nikkor D 85mm 1.8. Beast of a lens. Amazing optics. The reason why I switched up from this SLR to the F4S is because I needed more movement and the autofocus would help me capture that. If this is the first time you're meeting me, you'll see throughout my work that I am more of a narrative editorial guy. I'm not necessarily a studio rat or anything like that. I love locations and I needed a faster 35 mil SLR. Granted, I could have got the, the F5, but the F5 was more expensive. So I was like, plus one of my favorite photographers of all time, rest in peace, uh, who died last year, 2019, is uh, Peter Lindbergh. And this was the camera that he had prior to the F5 and so on and so forth. His most famous images were shot on this uh, camera, like the supermodels, all the amazing other images back then. So this came out in 1989 and was ahead of its time. It beat so much other cameras. I think it was one of the first autofocus cameras that did go to space, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the comments below, you can do whatever. The fact that this camera goes up to a thousandth of a second is amazing. So I can capture everything. The prism is beautiful. It has has matrix metering, spot metering, and, and center weight metering, and it's pretty beautiful. The fact that it detaches is always the most amazing thing. I can get a waist level finder, so you can just take this prism off by this little lever right here. It's clean and beautiful. Thank God when I bought this camera, it was mint. And the difference between, make sure that this is not the leader out modded version. It has everything you need. It has auto winding, it has double exposure. Pretty much a beast of a camera. Though I do wanna get the smaller grip. This is the M21 and I wanna get the M20, which is would make this thing a lot smaller. It would be like that much smaller to hold. Would I switch up this camera to another camera? Maybe the F5, it's a little bit lighter, but I like the fact that this thing has dials on it. Everything is dials, there's no screen or anything like that. You can get a data back, but you don't need that really. Here's some photos that I took on Kentmere 100. I develop all my films at home using either a C41 kit or Kodak, I think it's a D76 um, chemicals for black and white. And I do it all at home and I scan on my Epson scanner. If you want to get into film photography, I would suggest the FE is simple and easy. The way I use this camera is pretty simple and I, I do love the fact that it has the bottom grip, but it, it depending on what you're doing, and it, it can get annoying because of the weight. Overall, this camera can keep up with whatever I throw at it. I can do any style of photography with it. I would recommend this camera for any professional photographer. The F3 is more of the style of the old SLRs, which I do like, and I will get an F3 eventually, simply because of the size, because I can't always carry this. And having many lenses and the other Sony cameras that I have, this thing is a beast. I would only bring this along on when I really need it and when I really need that feel. Thanks for watching. All the information is in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification for more videos. Peace.